Hello and welcome, my name is Fanny Zasa, this is Battlefield 1, and in today's weapon review, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Mondragon self-loading rifle, available of course to the medic class in Battlefield 1. We're going to be talking about the stats of this weapon, as well as the three available variants, how they compare, how they perform on the battlefield, and what you can do as player to get the most out of this weapon when using it in Battlefield 1. As we always do then, we're going to begin with the stats of the weapon in question, and as baseline here, we're going to take the Mondragon sniper before we move into the different variants available. It has, as the others do as well, a maximum damage of 40 and a minimum damage of 35, guaranteeing you, of course, a three-shot kill at all ranges, as long as you hit your target in the body or, of course, in the head. Its rate to fire is not amongst the fastest, but still certainly not the lowest. At 257 rounds per minute, it can deal out quite a bit of damage, even at close quarter medium range. Obviously, however, isn't going to be able to compete with the more close quarter orientated medic rifles or some of the other support and, of course, assault weaponry out there. It does, however, have a decent magazine size at 10 and a muzzle velocity all the way up at 800 meters per second giving it some great ranged performance at least in that stat department. We move on then to the reload times of the weapon and they are of course a little bit more complicated given that this is not a magazine fed weapon. As such for a single bullet reload you're looking at 2.367 seconds with each additional bullet here taking you another 0.567 seconds. If however you have five or more bullets to reload in other words you can reload a clip that will take you then 2.7 seconds obviously a little bit faster and in certain scenarios it may be worth it tactically to actually shoot one or two extra bullets even if you don't need them just to get off one or two strip clip reloads to get that reload done a little bit quicker. We move on then from reload times to recoil. Here the Mondragon Sniper sports a vertical recoil of 1.1 as well as 0.45 both to the left and right. That is of course horizontal recoil. Its accuracy at 0.12 base ADS that's aiming down sight while not moving is very good. Its ADS while moving not that great at 1.02 and obviously given that this is a self-loading rifle its hip fire accuracy at three that's hip firing while standing and moving is certainly nothing to write home about another stat of interest obviously when it comes to the medics weapons in battlefield one is their maximum fire rate at minimum spread that is to say the fire rate you can fire this weapon while keeping it as accurate as possible in the case of the mondragon sniper that will be aiming down sight with a base spread of 0.12 and in the case of the mondragon sniper its maximum fire rate at minimum spread is actually 199 rounds per minute quite a bit lower than it's to begin with relatively good fire rate of 257 rounds per minute this comes from its relatively poor spread attributes when it comes to spread increase per shot as well as spread decrease per second with a spread increase per shot of 0.2 and spread decrease per second at three this gun takes a little bit of time to actually lose its spread and while it doesn't build up spread extremely quickly does so in a fashion that at the ranges you may be using this weapon you are going to want to never actually use this weapon at its maximum fire rate because you'll start missing shots that you otherwise shouldn't be missing. With the stats then out of the way, let's move on to comparing the three variants. And there is only a couple of differences, but first the superficial ones or the ones that you're going to notice when you use this weapon but aren't necessarily on the stat sheets. First of all, the sniper variant comes with a bipod, making it of course much better suited in certain scenarios at longer engagement targets than the other two variants. Other than that, the big difference of course is the optic. With the Storm version coming, of course, with iron sights, the Sniper version coming with a proper optic, and the optical version having the typical optical reticle to play with. Of course, as many people will know, I'm never a fan of the optical versions of any weapon because, of course, that painted glass, which is the, essentially the optical sight, tends to bob around quite significantly alongside a relatively big housing, meaning that tracking your targets, even at medium range or even in close quarters in certain scenarios, can suddenly become a lot, lot more difficult than it necessarily really would be had you used the sniper or storm variant. There is however other differences other than obviously bipod and optic. In the case of the storm you've got significantly lower recoil. Actually the storm variant is one of the most impressive storm variants of any weapon in Battlefield 1 when it comes to its recoil decrease. Usually the recoil difference isn't quite so significant however it is with the case of the Mondragon storm with a vertical recoil of 0.66 versus the 1.1 present on the sniper or optical variant and horizontal recoil at 0.2 this weapon kicks a lot less and is a lot easier to control, 
especially because its iron sights are excellent on this weapon. I love the iron sights on the Mondragon Storm. I have no difficulties hitting targets at medium, even long range with the Mondragon Storm because of the very crisp nature of the iron sights and the relatively low recoil that this weapon has. Of course, the differences don't end there, with the Mondragon Optical and Storm both having different spread attributes. Starting then with the Mondragon Optical, it has a slightly worse base ADS value. That's aiming down sight while not moving at 0.135. In my opinion, not really worth noting. The difference here is relatively negligible. What it does however have to compensate for that is better accuracy while aiming down sight at moving at 0.765. The Mondragon Storm on the other hand has basically the worst of the worst when it comes to base spreads with an ADS value of 0.18. This at very long ranges may start to get in the way of this weapon's performance at those extreme long ranges. Its ADS while moving is also relatively bad. That is to say on par with the Mondragon Sniper variants at 1.02. The last difference I'd like to note about these three variants of the Mondragon is the optical has much better spread increase per shot and spread decrease. That's to say its spread increase increase per shot is lower and its spread decrease per second is higher, giving it a maximum fire rate at minimum spread significantly higher than that of the Mondragon Sniper and Mondragon Storm. The already aforementioned Mondragon Storm fires at 199 rounds per minute if you want to keep the weapon at minimum spread. The same applies to the Mondragon Storm. The Mondragon Optical, however, is a notch higher, firing at around 225 rounds per minute while maintaining its minimum spread, which is slightly worse if we're talking about ADS while not moving than the Sniper's. Nevertheless, it's a significantly higher fire rate and could make a difference in some firefights. With the stats fully covered then, let's go into the individual weapons and how they differentiate themselves when you actually use them on the battlefield. Starting with the sniper, this is the easiest to explain. It is the long range version of this weapon. It is one of the three long range medic weapons available to the medic class in Battlefield 1, alongside of course the Selbstlader 1916 Marksman and the Selbstlader 1906, be that in the infantry iron sights version or the sniper variant. Those are the three available long range weapons and it is in the middle there, both in fire rate and performance. I'd like to note however here that its ideal fire rate at minimum spread isn't really any better than the Selbstlader Marksman's version. That is the Selbstlader 1916. Because of its spread attributes, it actually also will at minimum spread fire at 199 rounds per minute. The difference of course being that the Mondragon Sniper A has a bipod and B in close quarter where spread becomes less relevant and you can spam fire the weapon a little bit more thus use its higher maximum fire rate a little bit better is obviously a lot more flexible. The Mondragon Storm then as next. Actually one of my favorite medic weapons despite not using it too much in Battlefield 1. It always surprises me when I pick it up. It's extremely versatile because of its low recoil you can still go for many of the same targets the Mondragon Sniper would. You may miss one or two shots more but given that you have 10 rounds in the magazine you've got a little bit of leeway there and in close quarters because of the iron sights which means faster ADS time and because the iron sights are relatively good, you have a good overview when firing, you can track targets much better, and you can actually get into a bit of medium range combat without fearing that you're going to completely get wrecked by anything that you come up against. It's obviously no close quarter beast, and it's obviously no medium range beast, but it's competent enough, in my opinion, to make it a very versatile choice, which I can comfortably also get on an objective on, as long as I have a little bit of support from some fellow infantry. The optical variant then as last. This is a little bit of a love-hate relationship. The Mondragon optical, because of its better spread attributes would be a lot better of a weapon really in many sense and the other two variants. My problem with it is of course that it has the optical sight on it and I have true difficulty using the optical variant of any weapon in this game because of the optical bounce, because of the reticle bounce that the optical variant brings with it. So if you can deal with that, you feel you have no trouble with it, definitely try that over the Mondragon Storm or Sniper variant. For me personally, the Sniper and the Storm are the only two variants I realistically use. The Mondragon Storm for me for example is a perfect weapon to be using at medium range with a little bit of long range combat to be had as well. I love using that weapon for example on the more open domination maps, that's a great way, or also on some of the frontline maps seems to be a good choice. The Mondragon Sniper is the better choice if you're going for long range, but still, thanks to its better fire rate, if you can use its optic at medium range, I wouldn't necessarily recommend close quarters, nevertheless you can do some decent damage out there and surprise quite a few people that as medic, without one of the close quarter medic orientated weapons, you're still dishing out a couple of good kills. Now I'd love to hear your opinion on the Mondragon, be that Sniper, Optical or Storm, your experience with the weapons down below in the comments or hit me up with it on Twitter as well as of course your usual video suggestions for any future Battlefield 1 videos. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and with all that being said I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next Battlefield 1 video.